I was just asking the Lord what I should say. This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. And what just popped in my head was a beautiful idea. Listen to this. Those of you churches that are trying to think of what you can do in the holidays, listen, this is winter time. It's cold outside. And instead of exchanging gifts with one another, why don't you get some a little extra change that you would spend on someone that you already know has all they need and buy a blanket, a nice, thick, thermal blanket. If all you can do is buy one, buy one. And go to Skid Row or the park or wherever you know the homeless gather. I'm really feeling this, so I feel like this is God's heart talking to your heart because he cares for the least of these. And I don't mean the least of these as people who don't count. I mean the people who we don't think anything of as a society. We won't even go there. That's a whole nother message for a whole nother time. But I'm asking you, to think about those that don't have, buy them coats. You have an extra two or three coats. You have 10 coats in your closet, one for every month or one for every week so you can look cute and sedity or whatever it is you want to look. Take one of those coats that you're not so crazy about, but that's an excellent shape and that is extremely thermal for the winter holidays and the cold weather. And put it in a nice wrapping. Box it up. Wrap it up. And give a gift of warmth to a person who has nowhere to lay their head. Think of that. Buy some socks. Nice thick socks. Those of you who are buying presents of cologne and earrings and jewelry and all these little pretty things for people who already have what they need. Go out there with people who don't have and give them what they really need. Think about that. God bless you. And remember, get those blankets out. There are going to be a lot of cold winters and a lot of cold people out there who are sick. That's why some people who live on the streets drink so much. It's not because alcohol is all that wonderful. It's because alcohol keeps you warm in the winter weathers. Listen to that. That's why a lot of them turn out to be alcoholics. It's out of survival. They're just trying not to get frostbitten. You have it within your power to give someone a blanket. Just one person, if that's all you can do. Or rally up people at your church and get those blankets together. Get some, some waterproof things as well that can help them in the cold weathers, some little miniature tarps they can wrap in. Help some of these people out now. Some of those could have been your grandmother, your uncle, or even you. When we had a, um, a park ministry years ago, I am telling you, we ran into some of the most amazing people. One of them was a Ph.D. professor who just couldn't take any more of life and what it throws at her. She couldn't take it. Her coping skills had, had diminished. She was equipped. She was highly intelligent, wonderful personality, but no coping skills left. Life had beaten her down. She had no family support, and she ended up losing everything and having to live on the streets. This is a professional woman. There are authors out there. There are soldiers, veterans who have served this country, who come back wounded and, and they're not well taken care of by the government. You and I both know that. They know it more than any of us do. And they're living on the street. Think about that, you guys. What are we doing in this society? Why should a rich country like this have so many poor? Anyway, I'm done. I'm not trying to fuss. 
just trying to make us all be a little more sensitive, especially during the winter time. It is so cold out there, you guys. Listen, I slept in the car for three months in the summer, and that was tough. Imagine people who don't even have a car to snuggle up in. Just be mindful of those that we deem invisible and dispensable because they're not. Those are people who have been through some real crap and they didn't have the support you may have had or the money to get them out or the credit. Whatever they didn't have is what landed them. Some of them just gave up on themselves and they're just waiting to die. All I can ask you is this. It's the Christmas holidays. Do you care? 